Some of the things that would be very interesting to be a truck driver is just the fact that you are your own boss. You're the, like, just like Snyder said, you're the captain of your own ship. Man, take charge. Take it by the reins. If, you, if this is what you want to do, you're in charge of your life. Make it the best decision of your life. And that's what I think I did. Drop, becoming a truck driver was the best thing I ever could have done in my life. My favorite part of the trucking industry, I don't have to worry about really being laid off. There's always a job. Uh, there's a demand for truck drivers. There will always be a demand for truck drivers. Um, I know that if this company that I was with, whatever it would be, if it went under today, I could probably get a job tomorrow. You can provide yourself a nice, comfortable living. You can have nice vehicles. You can live in a nice home. You can take nice vacations all by just driving for someone. If you are stuck behind a desk, if you are tired of the repetitiveness of being in a factory, factory job, or even a dead end, a dead end job working at any other place, man, driving trucks is where it's at, man, because my office is between them two doors in there. I can travel across the nation. I can see so many different views. I can even, if I wanted to, I can even travel over to the Grand Canyon on one of my loads that I need to drop off over the, on the West Coast. So like, I just love the fact that you have that option to go, to go see so many beautiful scenery out along this nation. You know, COVID hit. So I started traveling with him. Um, he was a truck driver going across country and I started traveling with him every summer. And I loved it so much, um, we decided it was a good idea for me to go through the program. But it, it turned out that back in that 53 foot long trailer or 48 foot long trailer was more difficult for me than anything else. Driving a stick is still not my strong point, but um, the backing took some time and I have passed. I've enjoyed my time here. I am ready to get out on the road and start driving. Being able to better myself and, and learning the skills that I need to be able to drive those trucks. The teachers have been fantastic. They're all extremely knowledgeable. Every one of them has many, many years of driving experience. They can give you real world situations of things that they've done and they've been in. And it's just, they've got a wealth of knowledge to share with everybody that comes through here. I enjoy the program, the hands-on training that you get, you know, you get set out with one instructor to two or three students. And you get to learn a lot better than I do that way, you know, hands-on instead of an online course. I've looked at the online courses and it didn't, do nothing for me. So me coming here was a, it was a blessing, I believe. We partner with nine community colleges throughout North Carolina. And the purpose of our partnerships is a lot of folks in their service area has a lot of requests for truck driver training. Truck driver training is expensive. There's a lot of liability with truck driver training. When our partnering schools do the investigation of starting a program, they see the expense and the cost of starting a program. So that's one of the reasons we started just offering partnerships. Hey, let us come and do your program. We'll come to your school, we'll bring our instructors, we'll bring our equipment, and we'll do truck driving program in your service area so we can help your community. So at 18 years old, you can enter the program, you can complete the program, and you can be interstate only. So your load that you pick up would have to start in the state and end in the state of North Carolina. So once you turn 21, you would be interstate and you could travel all the way across the United States. The second day of class, which in our areas of service training has electronic logging devices. ELDs are not complicated. My dad still drives a truck, he's 74, carries a flip phone and can use an ELD. Oh, the ELD? is extremely important. It logs all your movements. It makes sure that uh, you don't run over your time uh, as far as the federal mandated times that we have. Because we're only allowed to actually run 11 hours a day and be on duty 14 hours a day. So that helps keep you on task. It is very, very important to, to keep up with it. So it's, uh, it's a pretty vital piece of equipment. It took me a little bit of getting used to. Now I don't want a paper log. 
I want the electronic log. And one thing about ELDs, ELDs are your friend because if I say I'm somewhere at six o'clock, the ELD proves I'm here at six o'clock, there's nothing to argue about. Uh, the freedom. Freedom out there on the road, uh, sort of being my own boss a lot of times, uh, and just being able to explore and, and see different things. I like them handing me a set of bills and I know what I had to do. Not really anybody looking over your shoulder. They was to an extent, but not, not like you are if you're working in a factory. My number one piece of advice to a new driver starting off in this industry, man, please never be afraid to ask questions because those questions that you may think are dumb to you are really not dumb because those are the questions that need to be answered in your mind to make you more successful in this industry.